Hello everyone, this video helps you to understand how to configure VLANs on Voltex switch and this video is applicable to all switches mentioned here. By the end of this video, you will learn how to create one or more VLANs on Voltex switch, how to assign ports to a VLAN and how to add ports to an existing VLAN. Also, you can learn how to assign PVID on ports, how to tag and untag ports, how to change management VLAN from one VLAN to another VLAN. So let's have a look at the terminology that we use in the video. VLAN, which means Virtual Local Area Network. PVID means Port VLAN Identifier. Tag Port is nothing but a trunk port. Untag Port is an access port. Few commands are used in this video, such as Fixed, Add, and Tag. The command Fixed is used to assign member ports to a VLAN, and Add is used to add new ports to an existing VLAN. Similarly, the command tagged is used to create a trunk port in a VLAN. Let's consider an example of a LAN where a voltage switch is interconnected to multiple posts through its ports, and this network has no VLANs in it. So let's create few VLANs on this switch. First of all, we need to understand what is a VLAN. Let's say we have a network and we want to divide this network into multiple broadcast domains. So this can be done with the help of VLANs. In other words, we have few hosts in a network and they have similar set of requirements. And these hosts can be grouped together virtually by a VLAN. And also, hosts in different networks from different physical locations can be grouped together as a single network by a VLAN. Now let's see how to create a VLAN. First of all, by using the command show VLAN from privilege user mode. We can notice that VLAN 1 is the default VLAN and all ports 1 to 10 on the switch are assigned to VLAN 1 and they are untagged. So to create additional VLANs, we go into global configuration mode and to create a VLAN, let's say VLAN 10, we use the command VLAN space 10. Similarly, let's create two more VLANs, say VLAN 20 and VLAN 30. And if I want to remove a VLAN, for example, VLAN 30, we use the command no VLAN 30. And to see the existing VLANs, we use the command show VLAN. And now you can see that we have two VLANs, VLAN 10 and VLAN 20. But no ports are assigned to them. So the next thing to do is assign ports to existing VLANs. As we saw earlier, all ports are assigned to VLAN 1 by default. So let's see how to assign ports to a VLAN that we created. Let's say VLAN 10. For example, I want to assign first, second and third ports to VLAN 10. To do that, first we need to enter into global config mode and then VLAN 10 by giving the command VLAN space 10. And then use the command fixed and give the port numbers that I want to assign to VLAN 10. For example, 1 to 3. Similarly, enter into VLAN 20 and assign 4th, 5th and 6th ports. To see the VLANs and the ports assigned to them, use the command show VLAN. Here you can notice that VLAN 10 has first, second and third ports as member ports and VLAN 20 has fourth, fifth and sixth as member ports and they are untagged ports. And if I want to add some more ports to a VLAN, for example, I want to add port 7 to VLAN 10. So I enter into the global config mode and enter into VLAN 10 and then use the command add space 7 to add 7th port. And using show VLAN 10 command, you notice that 7th port has been added to VLAN 10.
and to remove a port from a VLAN, enter into VLAN 10 and and use the command no space fixed space 7 and by using show VLAN command we can see that the port 7 is removed from VLAN 10. Here we can see that even though all the hosts are in one physical network, they are logically divided into separate networks by VLANs. In a VLAN, by default, all member ports are untagged ports. That means the packets received on these untagged ports do not have the information to identify which VLAN they belong to or which VLAN they should connect to. So, by assigning PVID, the port VLAN identifier to a port, you are telling the packets to connect to a particular VLAN. So, let's see how to assign PVID to interfaces in a VLAN, say VLAN 10. Go to global config mode and give the command interface and the interface number to enter into a particular interface, for example, interface 1. Now, assign PVID of VLAN 10 to the interface 1 using the command PVID 10. Similarly, assign PVID of VLAN 10 to other interfaces 2 and 3. Now, if I want to remove PVID on a particular interface, enter into the interface and give the command no PVID. You can check which interface is assigned to which VLAN ID using the command show interface and the interface number. For example, interface 1 is assigned to VLAN 10. But as we remove PVID from interface 3, we can see that interface 3 is assigned to default VLAN ID, which is VLAN 1. Now let's see how to tag a port and how to untag a port. But what is a tag port? As we saw earlier, by default, all member ports in a VLAN are untagged ports, which means the frames or packets coming from this ports do not have information of VLAN that they belong to. So, by tagging the port, we are attaching source and destination addresses as well as VLAN ID to the frames so that they can identify which VLAN they belong to. We can tag these ports to multiple VLANs so that they carry the traffic for multiple VLANs from the switch. In other words, these tagged ports can be member of more than one VLAN, which is not the case in untagged ports as they can be member of only one VLAN. So let's see the VLANs available on the switch. So we use the command show VLAN. Here you can see that VLAN 10 has 1, 2 and 3 ports but they are untagged. Similarly, VLAN 20 has 4, 5 and 6 ports and they are untagged as well. So, I'll add few ports first to VLAN 10. Let's say 9 and 10. And I will tag ninth port first using the command tagged space 9 and I'll tag 10th port as well. And similarly, I will add ninth port to VLAN 20 and tag it.
Now let's do a show VLAN and see which ports are tagged in a VLAN and which ports are untagged. In VLAN 10, the member ports are 1, 2, 3, 9 and 10. It shows that only 1, 2 and 3 are untagged ports as we tagged 9 and 10. Likewise, in VLAN 20, 4, 5, 6 ports are untagged and 9th port is tagged. Now, to remove a tag from the port, let's say I want to remove a tag for 10th port in VLAN 10. So we enter into the VLAN 10 and then use command no space tag and the port number that you want to remove. You can check it by using show VLAN 10 command. Here you can see the tag on 10th port is removed and it's showing as untagged port. And the only port that is tagged is port 9. As we saw how to tag it untagged ports, let's see how to change management VLAN. A management VLAN is the VLAN where a network administrator can access the switch remotely to administer or manage the switch using Telnet or SSH. By default, the management VLAN in any switch is VLAN 1, but we can change the management VLAN from default VLAN 1 to any VLAN we want to. So let's see how to do this. Use command show interface Ethernet 0 to see management VLAN information. As we learned earlier, by default, the management VLAN is VLAN 1. Now I want to change it to a different VLAN, say VLAN 30. So let's create a VLAN, say VLAN 30, assign a port, say port 9, use fixed command. and tag the ninth port using command tag. Let's check it. Let's do show VLAN 30. And we can find that there is only one member port in VLAN 30 and it is tagged. So to change this VLAN 30 as management VLAN, I enter into global config mode and then interface mode and I give the command management VLAN 30. So now to verify it, I will do show interface Ethernet 0. You can see that the management VLAN is changed from VLAN 1 to VLAN 30. As we see that we created multiple VLANs, assigned and added ports to each one of them, and also assigned PVIDs to interfaces and tagged the ports. Finally, we also learned how to change default management VLAN to a different VLAN. Thank you for watching this video, and for more videos, please visit Boltech.com.